Coming please on heart for Antonia Agnes. Today is Wednesday of the second week of Lent. First reading in Jeremiah chapter 18, verses 18 to 20. Last reading Matthew chapter 20, verses 17 to 28. Friends, the story in the first reading is one that is quite difficult. Indeed, we all face such, such situations in life. Jeremiah tells us his story, which is our story as well. Some people are calling for his downfall. Indeed, some people are planning for his downfall. But listen to the answer of Jeremiah. Whilst his enemies are thinking and plotting, planning for his downfall, he doesn't plot, plan for their downfall. He turns to God and says, God, look at these people, my friends, my colleagues at workplace, my family members. Why are they thinking evil against me? And he tells his story, look, I have pleaded your cause before God. God, it was I who prayed that you forgive them, their sins, their mistakes, and you did forgive them. And now they are repaying me for the good I did with evil. And these friends, sometimes life is like this picture. Sometimes our life could be going through such situations. People we have done good to, shown good to. Now they repay us with evil. Why? Why? Because that is how it works in our world. It's not always that you have people giving you good in exchange of good. Sometimes you may be good to somebody and the press, that person will give you back what is evil, negative. But friends, should we give up? No. Jeremiah gives us the answer. He doesn't pray for their downfall. He only complains to God. Because these people possibly they didn't know that their situation was because of what Jeremiah did for them. And so they are only evil against him. Surely, some people don't know what you have done for them in secret. What you have done for them behind the scenes, they say. And now they may be attacking you. They may be saying things against you. If only they knew. If only they know what you have done for them. What you are doing for them. Possibly, like Jeremiah, they wouldn't think such against you. But friends, don't give up. You are in length. This is the time we pay back evil with good. This is a time we don't have to contain the grudges we have for our friends, our family members, even our colleagues. It's a time to let go of even those who are thinking evil and planning evil against us. Why? Because once we leave our cause before God, once we put our situation before God, He takes care of it. And as Paul will remind us, if God be for us, who can be against us? Who can be against us? God is on your part. Continue to do the good. And God himself will surely be by your side. Friends, in the gospel reading, Jesus is taking a walk to Jerusalem with his disciples. Indeed, the gospel begins with the words, He was going up to Jerusalem with his disciples. And on the way, he was teaching. On the way. You see, the early Christians, before they were called Christians, were called people of the way. People of the way. Which way? The way to the Father. The way to heaven. Christians, we Christians, are men and women who have set on the way to heaven. We are men of the way. No wonder Jesus himself would say, I am the way. Don't remember? Do you remember those words? I am the way. And so Christians, friends, over the centuries, we are called people, men and women of the way. Do you know the way yourself? Can you show the way to others? Friends, if we don't find a way with Christ, we can't share him with others. And that is why in Lent, for 40 days, we journey with Jesus on this way of Lent. Towards Easter, 
which is truly our Jerusalem. He said, look, there they will kill me and I will rise again. And that is what we celebrate at Easter. The passion, the death and resurrection. And so, land is a journey to Easter. Jesus has given us this picture already Why we are going through land. We are on the way, indeed, not just towards Easter, but we are on the way towards heaven, which will come to us someday, which is our hope. Friends, the words used are important because it says, He said, let us go up to Jerusalem. Up, go up. You see, Jerusalem was seen as a city that was on a higher ground. And so, we always go up to Jerusalem. Of course, going up means we are going to the presence of God. It is only the presence of God that we go up. Friends, we pray that as you go through land, you will surely be men and women who are walking up to God. We must also grow in our faith. That is the spirit of land. That we shall grow up in our faith. We shall go up in our faith. That is where we are supposed to head towards. And so Jesus and the disciples are on the way going up to Jerusalem. Friends, we pray it's not easy, but with God's help that we shall remain going up to our Jerusalem. How far have you gone? Are you indeed going up? We pray that we shall be going up spiritually. You must get there. We must get there. That is why we are in Lent. We want to grow in our faith. We want to go higher with the Lord. And so, we pray that we shall overcome the temptations of the sons of Zebedee. We are told that his, their mother came to put a request to them. But listen to Jesus' question. He didn't ask their mother. He asked the boys. Because truly speaking, it was they who asked their mother to speak on their behalf. We pray for those who are being used by others for their selfish reasons. Even ourselves, sometimes we use people for our own selfish motives. We pray against that. And if somebody is using you for his or her selfish motive, we pray that you have the courage to say no to him, no to her. The mother of Zebedee was being used by his own sons for their own selfish aims and ambitions. We pray that during this land, we shall not have these aims of spreading our own ambitions, even through means that are not appropriate. If you want to become great, Jesus tells us, be a servant. That is why they say to go up, you must go down. To become great, you must be humble. Humility going down is what brings you indeed up. And so we leave the future to God as we do a little by little today. And hoping and praying that God himself will surely call us up, bring us up, exhort us, and give us what we truly deserve, what he wants for us. This is our prayer as we go through the days of Lent. Let us pray, Father, we thank you for these words. Help us to focus on you. May we not, Father, um, keep on asking for physical things, things for our own interest, but always doing our own best, just as you did to serve others. And in serving them, may we find the highest point of our spiritual life with you. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise be Jesus Christ.